Joining me at the training ground is uh, Jan Klukowski. Uh, how's things going in, in pre-season training? Yeah, it's been a really good pre-season camp. Um, the boys look strong and powerful. Um, and we're working extremely hard on the training ground and I think we've had some really positive performances in the game so far. Um, so hopefully the fans have you know, enjoyed watching us throughout that time period um, and we're ready to go. It was an interesting build-up playing teams that just missed out on promotion into the National League and some higher class under-23 teams predominantly, so it was a good mixture. Yeah, we've had a really good balance uh, of quality opposition, um, some under-23 sides that pose a different test to us and some really difficult games against clubs from lower down the pyramid but are extremely strong and they'll be fighting at the top end of their division. So, um, yeah, a pleasing, pleasing round of games uh, and one that I think has prepared us really nicely for the season. How do you gauge the players that have come in? Obviously, it feels a little bit stronger core than maybe this time last year. Yeah, we're definitely ahead uh, in terms of our preparation. Um, I think the balance of the squad is a lot better uh, and we're not kind of depleted or lacking in certain areas and certain positions. So um, that obviously fills the staff and the group with, with confidence going forward into the season. Um, we've got some good cover and we've got some, some really powerful, powerful lads with good physical presence, um, but quality footballers as well. So do you, do you feel that power, that intensity is necessary in the National League North? Absolutely. Um, it's a big key. Obviously, the way we want to play, we need good footballers, but we have to have players that can deal with the physical demands of the league itself. Um, that can be crucial at certain times of the season uh, and certain aspects of the game, certainly um, around set plays. Uh, and we come up um, against some big, powerful sides ourselves, so we need to be able to match that and compete. Um, and I think with the lads we brought in, we'll uh, certainly better place than we were last year. Obviously, you, you, you're full-time still with Forest Green in terms of the, was that the Youth Academy. Um, do you know Jack Evans, who's come into to the Hereford squad? Yeah, I know Jack. Um, seen him around at Forest Green a few times last year um, when I was either watching first team training or, or had the, the luxury of watching some of the first team matches. So he was part of a, a hugely successful squad. So he'll bring that winning mentality to us. He understands what it takes to, to be fighting at the top end of the table. And he's come in with a, a, an ultra professional attitude, um, a great desire and work rate in training. And he will certainly add some quality to the group. Because obviously the engine room, that's where Hereford need that, possibly a little bit more grit. Um, maybe than they've had in the past. Yeah, look, we've, we've had good, talented players um, in all the squads that we've had here over, the, over my time at the club, um, but we're always looking to improve. Um, and we know that the engine room in that mid midfield area is somewhere that win, can win and lose your game. So um, if we can get that right uh, and make sure we're structured and organised around that, then I think that will uh, stand us in good stead. And finally, on a personal level, you've not disappeared as a player. Uh, I think you've had a couple of injuries in pre-season, which is why you haven't had so many minutes. Yeah, just one injury. Uh, unfortunately, suffered a, a neck injury, which kind of gave me the symptoms of whiplash, really. So I was kind of debilitated for about five, six days. In the that wasn't a car accident, was it? It wasn't, no. It was actually a football injury, which is quite a, quite a rare one. So a bit unfortunate in that regard. And it was a bit of a shame because I've come in really, really fit this pre-season, uh, was, was ready to go, really. So just a bit of an unfortunate one, something that you don't really see um, in the football circles in terms of that particular injury. Um, but back fit now and, and was really pleased to get some minutes um, at the weekend and, and hopefully I can build myself up and, and get myself involved this year. Do you feel uh, your role really is, is primarily as a coach but also that experience maybe to come on when you know a bit of gamesmanship and, and closing games out is needed? Yeah I think so, I think there's a balance, I think there'll be times where I might need to start games um, if I'm playing well and I'm fit, um, there'll be times I need to come off the bench, there'll be times where I just um, balance off and, and take care of the coaching side of things, it's kind of quite a flexible role um, so I see it as 50-50 really, 50% uh, playing, 50% coaching. Um, obviously I've done a lot of coaching here over the last um, few years I've been here and I've liked to have played more games. Um, but the time's been fit, the team's been doing extremely well and gone on quite long unbeaten runs. So I've had to be patient, uh, I understand how the game works and if lads are playing particularly well, and I've got to bide my time and, and wait for my opportunity. So I still feel I can contribute uh, and whether that's from the start and berth or from, from the bench, um, or just supporting from the coaching staff, then, then I'm happy to take that role up. And how important is a, is, is, a, is a good start? You need a positive start over the next five or six games. Yeah, I think if we compare it to last year, that the start probably did cost us in the end. Um, I think if we'd have, even if we'd have picked up two or three wins and a few draws, we might have snuck in the playoffs. So, um, yeah, hopefully this year we can have a, a more positive start, which probably won't be too difficult considering last uh, last season's start. But yeah, we, we want to get off to a good start to build some momentum, uh, and we want to be fighting at the top end of the league um, as early as possible um, and kind of setting our stall out as, as soon as we can. Well, good luck. Thank you very much.